New at 4 o'clock, one of Texas's top leaders flew to Washington, in fact, to meet at the White House about border security issues before tonight's address. Lieutenant, Dan, uh, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick was not at the Texas Capitol for the start of the legislative session today, notably absent because of this. Political reporter Jack Fink is live in Austin with our continuing team coverage. Jack? Well, Doug, the news about all this came as a surprise for a lot of people around the Texas Capitol today. And we didn't find out about this until members of the state Senate were sworn in at noon. So as a result, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick asked Republican State Senator Jane Nelson of Flower Mound to preside over opening day ceremonies in the Senate gallery. Senator Nelson became the first woman in the state to preside over the first day of a legislative session. The Lieutenant Governor's office tells us that Patrick was called to the White House to discuss border security. I've asked his office and the White House if the lieutenant governor met with the president about this issue, and I'm still waiting for word on that. Senator Nelson said today it was difficult for Patrick to decide to miss opening day. He loves opening day and really wanted to be here with the members and their families for this really exciting day, but uh, the lieutenant governor's schedule is not the White House schedule, and when the White House calls you to Washington, you go to Washington. The lieutenant governor will be back in Texas tomorrow. In fact, he will be holding a joint news conference along with Governor Greg Abbott and the newly selected Speaker of the House, Dennis Bonin. Uh, both the governor and Dennis Bonin had words for the uh, Texas House today. We'll tell you about that coming up at 5. For now, we're live at the state capitol in Austin. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.